Test 6308. This will be interesting. I... I can do it. Let's go.
ready when you are. According to the rules, it costs dice and energy to unleash an elemental burst. Enhanced animal module 75! that into the equation. I want to help. Hyperspace Emulation! This will be interesting. I want to help. Need 
to make adjustments. Ready when you are. Where did I go wrong? Okay. One character card defeated. Don't get frostbite with your luck. I'm not done. I lost when we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body... That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. Paimon didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Uh, you lost me at alchemy and experiments. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. <laughs> Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of genius and vocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and give up. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. Besides, Sucrose, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You played well this last match. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. Good! Having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the Cat's Tale. Uh, but don't expect me to play with you. I just mean, this place probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. All right. I think you should have all the basics down by now. 
I need to get back to bartending. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. And we can't have that. Huh. Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. Sophie, need any more help? Go bother Sheehan. I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> That's right! The Travelers, Sucrose, and Paimon are TCG players now! Uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you and Sucrose. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. Oh, sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become official players recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society, you have to pass the test. It's just a tabletop card game. I'm not sure how you would plan on achieving something like that. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. So, you have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Same way you can hear what Prince says? A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. But back to the matter at hand. The Traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. But first things first, Shuyen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Ah, oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. Oh, Tameis mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, that's right! The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So the casket of tones is actually real? Uh, well, actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called caskets of tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your decks, they can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a casket of tomes with them. Oh! Hyman can guess what you're gonna say next! The reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside! That would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games? No. The real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. Darn! What a letdown. All right, now let's see this casket of tomes already! Well... All caskets of tomes are issued by Margaret, so you will need to see her to claim yours. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. But even for the Traveler, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? 
I shall choose the final contestant he must beat in order to become an official TCG player, for it must be one of comparable prowess. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Go, claim your casket of tomes, seize victory, and become a TCG champion. Prince seems to have high hopes for you. Uh, let me guess. You're here to order a drink. Huh. Oh, it's you! So, how are your genius and vocation matches going? You need to win three matches to become an official TCG player? Oh, yeah! Now you mention it, I remember there being some sort of rule about that. Why'd they have to make it so competitive? It's just a game! Why can't people just have fun? Aww, I'll never understand why grown-ups have to put a bunch of stupid rules on everything. Hello, you three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Ah, I see you're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? <laughs> A very useful tool indeed. So this is a casket of tomes. That's right, a purpose-built case for your card deck that can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. Yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. True. So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. All right. In that case, I'll go find some people to play against, too. Let's meet back at the cat's tail in a while. Thanks. I'll do my best.
I'm sorry, is there anything I can assist the two of you with? We want to become official Genius Invocation TCG players! But we have to pass the test first, so we need to be three players in a duel. Our casket of tomes led us to you! Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now. I see you're serious about this. Very well. As a fellow TCG player, I cannot refuse an earnest invitation to duel. <sighs> so be it. Then let the duel begin. <laughs> <laughs> 